Welcome, welcome, people. My name is Clint, Clint Beastwood. If you're new to me, Clint, if you're old to me from the Dread Dads podcast, uh, due to the coronavirus, everything like that, me and Malcolm are not together. We aren't separated. Don't get scared. Calm down. Everything like that. The Dread Dads podcast is still a thing. We're still official and we're still on. Um, it's just a lot of lockdown stuff going on right now, so it's hard for us to record. Um, this is the only one and only time I'm really going to say something about that. But, uh, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. So, a lot of pause and a lot of halting. Uh, me and Malcolm are still probably live streaming the Division 2 um, and probably whatever other games that we got in our, you know, in the tuck. So, that's probably what we're doing right now. Just a lot of live streaming on YouTube and everything like that. Malcolm's on Twitch. Make sure to go follow him. X, is it XNight98? XNight89. <clears throat> Um, make sure to go follow him on Twitch and everything like that. But yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Just because this coronavirus has got us separated, so it's kind of hard to record. Uh, a lot of lockdowns, a lot of restrictions, and everything like that. I know everybody is telling us to either use Zoom or like other programs like that, but it's kind of hard because Malcolm is um, he doesn't really have an official official computer like that or official official laptop like that. And plus, it's hard for him probably to get like a space where he can like get like the best type of silence <laughs> seeing that we have kids and stuff like that so it's kind of hard for uh, for that to go on i know a lot of people have been su- suggesting that but it's just something hard to do like when you got kids like i'm all, i know you'll probably think because we got this nice big green screen in the back and everything like that like we in the studio or something like that nah we in the basement <laughs> so so it's kind of hard just to like get a little piece of silence or what the case is uh for him to record and everything like that and plus he doesn't have like an official official laptop he's building his own computer his own master computer right now to take over the world right now so it's just what it is what it is so you just get me for right now um this may last a month this may last a little less than a month we don't know yet um when everything gets a little more clearer on our restrictions and stuff like that in the city or whatever the case is, uh, that's when we'll start moving around and everything like that, just to let everybody know. But, uh, yeah, this is just that one intro video on why you just see me and not Malcolm because we pretty much do everything out of my crib or whatever the case is. So that's just what it is right now. Uh, so, yeah, don't get worried. Dread Dance Podcast still live. We're still here. We're not breaking up. The, the the boys are still back in town and everything like that. Like, we're not breaking up or anything like that. So, um, but, yeah. Just wanted to give you guys that little heads up, notice everything like that. So, uh, I don't know if I did the intro or not, but enjoy this video, whatever this may be. And we back! Welcome to another movie review. My name is Clint, and we're talking about Parasite. Let me pull up the IMDb for Parasite, man. Oh, man. All right, so this movie, this is one of the movies that won, I think, one of the best pictures at the Oscars or something like that. It actually beat out the Joker, over the case is. So I had to check it out. I wasn't a big fan of the Joker, and I had to see the movie that beat it. And boy, oh, boy. This movie is different, man. Um, if you don't like reading, you're probably not going to watch this movie. If you don't like reading, you probably even haven't watched this movie. Um, this is a f- this is probably my first foreign flick of 2020. Oh, this is stuff I missed also, by the way. This came out 2019, but I just I just looked at it. I just checked it out. Um, yeah, Parasite is this a different movie, bro. Parasite uh, can definitely be taken a couple different ways. Um because you could think of it either mentally, eternally, or physically, whatever the case is. And these people definitely do that for you, man. So, uh, it's this family. I guess uh, they're living in the slums. I guess that's the whole neighborhood, whatever the case is. Or that's probably their city or whatever the case is. But you could tell, like, the economical differences or whatever the case is. Uh, by, the end of, by the end of this movie or, like, or whatever the case is. Um... So there's this family, man. I swear to God, if if scamming was a person, or finessing was a person, or like fake it till you make it was a person, bro, it's definitely this this family, bro. Um, if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This family pretty much finesses their way to the fucking top, and I don't want to say to the top where like they're like 
like rich and famous or whatever the case is, but at least to the top where like they're pretty well fucking off. And man, like, uh, all right. So, in the parasite way, I guess to begin with, the case is these people don't pay for their fucking Wi-Fi. They just they either they either mooch off the Wi-Fi from the above apartments, or they end up mooching from the cafe down the fucking street or next door or some shit like that. And that's where they get their Wi-Fi. That's one thing. They're so fucking cheap. That during the fumigation of the entire like street or the whole, whole entire block or city, where the case is, they say no, no, no. The one of the, the father says no, no, no. Leave the window open so they can kill these cockroaches and stink bugs and shit like that. Like they're they're so cheap and like so like frivolous. It's it's re- fucking ridiculous, bro. So the whole the whole basis of this story is the the son and his family. One of his friends comes by. He gives him like a special rock or the case. I forget exactly what the rock. Uh, name was or the case is, but the meaning is that um, eventually it's supposed to bring you riches or the case is. Um, that's all the central thing of the rock. So the friend of the son is going out of town. He's going to uh, study abroad or the case is. He's a college student. He's going to study abroad. Um, he asks his friend, which is the brother, he asks him to go tutor um, a girl for him. That he's tutoring and stuff like that. He says, I know your family needs the money. Like, because the thing with this family is, like, they've had, I think they've had jobs, or whatever the case is. But they're, they're too, like, they can get a job, but they're probably too stupid to keep it, or whatever the case is. Or they're too lazy to keep it, because, like, one of their jobs is just, like, folding pizza boxes, or whatever the case is. And they did that wrong. It's just, like, certain shit that they, that they couldn't do for some reason. But, um, so, yeah, the friend of the son, he asks him to go tutor or... Well, tutor this girl for him. He's she's part of this rich, rich family. They got a lot of money. He knows his that the his friend's family needs the money because they're pretty much living like day to day or the case is like barely fucking make it or whatever. And um it gets to the point where the kid um asks his sister, she's a fucking Photoshop master, bro. Like she makes him a full degree from fucking um where the fuck was it? I don't wanna say Harvard, but it was somewhere. But it's just like some university here in the U.S. that the the mother or the the other rich family they really couldn't they couldn't keep the records of in case they couldn't find the records of it really wouldn't even matter. But like old girl, she's a fucking master. She needs a master class for Photoshop. That's just a fact. So um, he goes to this family house. Um, he teaches the he tutors the child. The case is first day. The case is pretty much because the mother is. Um, the friend of the brother, he tells him like the mother is she's like simple, like she's like she's very like gullible. Or the case is, and that's pretty much what the hell she is. Like the entire fucking movie, it's, it's pretty fucking ridiculous. So, um, the kid, the brother goes to to tutor the girl, and like at the end of the lesson, or the case is the 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 mother, the wife of the rich family, or the case is she's like. Oh, my son is so artistic and all this blase, blase shit. And he's like, oh, he's artistic. You need a teacher? Get his fucking sister in there. But he he tells the, the rich mother that that's his cousin or some shit like that. Or the case is. And I'm sorry if I'm spoiling this shit. Like, this came out in 2019. Half of y'all ain't going to watch because it is. It's subtitled. You have to read the entire movie. There's like, I don't think there's like one part of English in here that somebody is speaking English. So if I'm spoiling the movie for you, or I'm telling the movie for you, I'm sorry. But this is what happens, bro. And this is this ain't the full story either. This is just my summarization of this shit. Um So yeah, he gets his fucking sister in there to be his to be the, the, the little child's art teacher and shit. And she's got a fucking diploma from fucking um University of Illinois, which she has never been to, but she's so a Photoshop fucking master. She can just fucking whip up a degree with no problem. Um and then she finesses the mother. Like the mother is like the most gullible. Like, like when the guy said that she's simple, bro. Like she is really simple. Like she doesn't like ask any extra questions. She doesn't do background checks. She doesn't do anything, bro. So now that the brother and sister are in, but they're they told each other like their cousin or that's his cousin's friend or some shit like that. Whatever cases. Oh, that's his friend's cousin. I mean, um. The daughter of the poor family pretty much sets up the driver of the rich family 
when she's getting dropped off with some pennies in the car and shit like that. And then he loses his job, the driver of the rich family. Now he loses his job. So now they have the brother tutoring the rich child's daughter. They have the sister of the poor family um, doing art therapy for the younger child of the rich family. And now they didn't put their father in place as the fucking driver of the family now. So now that's three family members in positions of this rich family. So they all getting paid from this rich family. I think they're getting paid really fucking good too, by the way. I don't I don't know exactly how much. They never explained how much the case is. But that's that's three paychecks coming in now when they had no money at all. They were just struggling or living day by day where the fuck the case is. So now um they like, all right, so now we need a plan. They always had a plan. Like, the whole plan was just to get in, get everybody into this house. So now the plan is to get, because um, the rich family, has a, they have a housekeeper. They She came with the house. Like, the, the rich family that lives there now, she, um, the rich family, yeah, the rich family that lives there now, um, the housekeeper that was there before them was just a good recommendation of, um, of the house owner before the rich family moved in. So she has been with this house for, um, I don't want to say two generations of the cases, but something like that, like two two owners of the case is. So now they're trying to get her to fuck out so they can get the mom in, their mom in. So they finessed the, the fucking housemaid or the case is to the point where I think the, the fucking dad tells the, the rich wife that like, she got TB and shit. I seen her in the doctor's office because I went to go get my annual checkup and shit like that. And I saw y'all housemaid. And they set the fucking housemaid up so dirty, bro. It, it makes no sense, bro. It's fucked up. And, like, now the whole family is within this other rich family to the point where... They got full control. They're getting four paychecks. The family, the rich family has no clue that, um, the rich family has no clue that any of them are related. So, like, one is, um, a matter of fact, the only ones that they do know are related is the driver and the housemaid that they just put in because they actually told the driver, actually, the poor dad, which is the driver, actually told the rich family, like, yeah, this is my wife. She's a house cleaner. Okay. She's a housemaid. So, this is what she does. So, those are the only two that they know for sure are, are together. But the other ones, they don't know that they're brothers and sisters or none of them are fathers and sisters and everything like that. Everybody's just related because even the the poor daughter told the rich family, like, this is her uncle of cases that he drives. So none of them know that none of them are related except the mother and the, and the uh, father. But um, so all that goes on. Um, but they have no clue. So that this, this is going on for a while, by the way. Everybody trusts everybody and everything like that. Um, the one thing that gives them away is that they, like, unfortunately, they still have, they get four paychecks with cases, however much money they get, but they still living in this run down, beat down ass house. And they're still either being like super hella cheap or they're, um, are they not taking care of themselves like, like how they possibly could or cases. They just still bullshit on the cases. So the only thing that actually gives them away is the smell because the, the kid that, that's, um, that needs the art therapy from the rich family. He goes around sniffing them and shit like that, saying that they smell the same. Um, which later on down the line ends up the father is like, it smells like poor people. Like, and I'm pretty sure they probably knew that they were poor already. It's not like they were middle class or anything. Like, I mean, they're working for you, so I'm pretty sure they you know that they're not living in the, in the best like high rise or big ass house like them. And oh, by the mention, by the way, to mention this fucking house is fucking amazing. By the way. Whoever the architect was before this uh, family moved in, my nigga, he had the best fucking style in the fucking world. Because this house is amazing. It's his own person. Literally. It's his own fucking person. So, uh, with all that being said, so later on down the line, the the rich family, they go out for a, a camper trip for the for the youngest son's birthday or the youngest child's birthday, whatever the case is. Um... And during this, the the old housemaid that they kicked out and said, told they had TB and shit like that, she comes knocking on the door and saying, can I come in for a second? So she comes in, and this is where, like, a lot of this shit that you would not know came out of fucking left field. Um, So she comes to the house. They let her in, in case it is, blase, blase. Uh, and downstairs in the basement, 
there's another basement, which is a bunker or a safe room, whatever the case is. In this bunker or safe room, the old housemaid's husband lives down there and has been living down there. And he's been living down there because he owned, he owes loan sharks, over the case is. So he doesn't show his face or he's scared to show his face. And also, now that I brought that into the element, the, the youngest son of the rich family, um, he um, had a nightmare like when he was, I think, I, f I forgot what grade, I think they said the first grade or something like that. Because it's, he saw a ghost, but it really wasn't a fucking ghost. It was actually the man in the fucking basement because he used to come up um, and get meals and shit like that when the whole family was asleep. So that's what he used to do, and they made that scene look creepy as shit. That's actually in my head still to this point because that, that scene is kind of fucked up. It's scary as shit. The way the dude was looking and shit. But um, but the thing about this guy in the bunker. Okay, so the maid goes to the bunker. The thing about this fucking bunker is that it has a working toilet. Probably a working shower too, shit. I don't fucking know. Um, a refrigerator. He got books for days. He got lighting. He got, like, he's set. Like, he's good. Like he, All he probably has to do is come up, like, every once in a while. Or, ha or he had the, his wife bringing him food and shit like that but she would see she, she said she would buy with it home money or her own salary what case is because the because the new housemaid which is the mother of the poor family followed her down there and this is where shit just goes left the shit gets crazy so now everything just fucking crumbles to the fucking ground because like i said these people they have so much finesse and they can get in like with any crowd or like smooth their way in to the point they don't know how to keep the shit cool because now they fall down some fucking stairs being nosy and now the um old housemaid sees them and one of i think the oldest son says father or dad or cases are you okay and shit like that but the old housemaid is recording this shit while it's going on so now she has like a, a full bomb proof plan on to expose their ass to the rich family and shit like that and get them the fuck up out of here. Then there's a there's a fight scene. It's, it's, a lot of shit happens, like, in this moment. Like, she's holding them hostage with, like, the send button of the phone and shit like that. Like, it's on edge like a motherfucker. Um, and shit, the family comes back. The rich family comes back early from the camper trip because of a storm and shit like that or a flood or something like that. And um, they come back, and now none of these people are supposed to be in the house. By the way, the only person that's supposed to be in the house is the new maid, which is the the, the poor, poor poor people's mom. And they didn't have a party, they didn't get drunk, they didn't fuck these people's house up, they didn't probably ate all their food, like all type of shit. That's what I mean. Like they get shit, but they don't know how to fucking keep it, bro. Um, so they have to clean up fast as shit. They have to get rid of these two people that they just, the old maid that was, that just busted her way in for case is and the fucking, the husband that's been staying in the fucking bunker for who knows how many fucking years. They got to get rid of fucking bodies and shit. Um, cause the, the, the fucking poor mother, the housemaid of, of the now, she kicks the fuck out the, the old housemaid down the stairs to the point that she busts her shit open in the back of her head like she's concussed and fucking um she bleeds out from a concussion and shit like that she dies and then fucking man i don't know bro it's a lot it's a lot because the the guy in the bunker he actually controls the house that's why i said the house is his own person like literally it's his own person he knows he's it's certain lights or certain buttons and shit that um control the lights in the house he's speaking more morse code to the kid and shit like that it's just it's just a lot man a lot unravels like like in a quick quick span. Um, so yeah, he's speaking Morse code to the kid. I don't I don't think they ever said what he actually said to the kid in Morse code. The case is nobody ever really figured it out. But um, the thing now is um, so all that happens. They get out the house safe. Like they don't get caught. Or the case is um, the other family. They put both of the bodies in the bunker. The old maid and the the maid's husband. They put them in the bunker. Or the case is. Um, the new family, they get out because they're not supposed to be there while the family was gone. Um, so nothing gets un unraveled at that point. Everything is, everything is dandy and backfiring in the case is. But the thing, um, that happens, uh, on their way back from the rich people's house, um, 
is there as a flood. So this flood is like ridiculous, bro. It's like dog poop and shit. Not even dog poop, poop, human poop. It's shit everywhere. It's water everywhere. Their house is in a basement, so their whole entire house gets flooded. And um, the whole thing that started this um, this wave of them like progressing in life, whatever the case is, was this rock that I mentioned earlier that the friend gave um, the brother or the gave his friend over cases. The friend gave to the brother of the family or the poor family over case is. So for some reason this kid um he says that this rock is attached to him. And he takes this to the shelter with um them for, when they went to a relief shelter because everything is flooded like their house is gone like all that shit is gone over case is. And he decided to grab this fucking rock. Um and the father and the thing is with this whole movie, like the the funny thing is, like they kept mentioning the plan, a plan, a plan, a plan, because the father was like, um, I don't like the plan because when I make plans, life happens, shit happens that fucking throw your plan off whatever the case is. So, um, the 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 son kept saying, I I have a plan by the morning or I have a plan and we'll just figure this shit out. And the father was like, Man, I already got a plan. <laughs> so I don't give a fuck what y'all do. But in his plan, I think he kinda knew like everything that was finna transpire in, in that time frame because um after that flood or case is they um had to kinda return back to work or their regular day working jobs or the case is. Um so the driver was still being a driver, he was still doing that. Um the kid was still tutoring, the, the girl was still the art therapist, shit like that, and the housemate was still the housemate. But now there's a party for the kid because um the flood happened. They were supposed to go camping, and that was supposed to be his birthday gift, but now they're having a party at the house and shit like that. But uh, like I said, with this kid and this fucking rock, for some reason he feels like he's attached to him. So he brought the rock to the house, I guess, because uh, I guess it brings fortune, and I guess he wanted to be nice um, and give it to the people in the basement or in the bunker that he locked in the bunker. But he's so fucking goofy and clumsy and dumb. He gets fu- he drops the fucking rock, makes all this noise in the fucking world, gets snuck up on, gets attacked, then gets killed. He died. Well, no, no, no. He didn't get killed. I'm sorry, but he get knocked upside the fucking head, and you would definitely think that he's fucking dead because it's blood every fucking where. He got his shit knocked in. Um, that happens. Um, so the crazy man in the basement, the husband, he gets loose. His wife is dead. He doesn't give a fuck. And he knows the exact family that did it to him because he just saw them the previous night or the night before, whatever the case is. And now he's just on a rampage. He wants to, uh, well, he goes to the party where the party is like full of people, by the way. It's like full of all the rich people friends. They're out there celebrating, partying, singing, doing all that rich people shit, whatever the fuck they do. Um, And he just goes on a fucking rampage, but he only goes... Well, at first, he only goes for the family that put him in this fucking situation. He killed his wife and shit like that. So he goes for the daughter of the poor family. Then he try, goes for the mother of the poor family, but he ends up dying and shit like that. Um, and this part right here, well, it kind of it kind of transitions all together because um, the father of the poor family, which is the driver, he um, he's pretty much stuck in a in a fucking rock in a hard place. Like he's stuck in like three different fucking places right now. Like his his daughter is bleeding out. Um, his wife is um, fighting the crazy guy that was down in the bunker, and the guy who hired him, which is the rich family's uh, husband, of case is, he's telling him to get his ass in the car to take his child to the hospital because the child has had a heart attack or like a seizure or some shit like that. Um, but in the midst of all this, the the mother kills the crazy guy, but then the father remembers. Like all the bad shit that the rich guy was talking about, because eventually the thing about him smelling like shit or him smelling like poor people, it gets to his feelings because I guess because his pride fucked him up. Because now he's like, like they were already bad off already before the movie even started, but now they're like homeless because their shit just got flooded and they really don't have anything. And they pretty much picked up whatever clothes they had and shit like that just to make it to these people's house to kind of do their job. But now he has like resentment and hate towards these people too, also at the same time. So, like, when this is going on. He fucking grabs um, a kn- the knife that the crazy guy from the bunker has and stabs the fucking husband and kills him. So now that's just um, 
people dead outside. Like it just it just is what it is. But the funny thing about it is, um, this was his plan the whole time. Um, the the father is the biggest parasite of them all. Um, because the thought da- the daughter dies. Um, the son is put. He has surgery on his brain and shit. Like he has brain surgery because uh, I tell you, the dude fucked him up with a rock. And this rock that I'm mentioning, it, it's a big ass rock. It's a it's a damn near a boulder. And he has brain surgery and shit like that. And um, he pretty much figures out. He does a little digging or whatever the case is mystery because nobody knows where the father is. He just like disappeared. He dipped off after he stabs the rich father. He just Clear as day, dip the fuck off, and nobody knows where he is. So the son starts having um some thoughts and uh, starts thinking and shit like that. And funny thing is, the the father or that he goes back to a hill high on high hill where you can see the whole city of cases. You can also see this house that they were just working in and everything like that. And he sees the light going off in the house because, like I was saying, the old um. Old crazy guy that was in the bunk over cases. He used to speak to the child in Morse code, so the father also knew Morse code, and he would play with the lights flipping. I I don't know. Of course, I don't know fucking Morse code, but he was like doing dot dot dash dot dot dash dot dot dash shit like that. And the son figured that out, and the father was pretty much probably doing that shit every night to a certain extent until it actually got seen or whatever. And um. And the ch- and the the son he figured it out. Um, he started writing him a letter back and shit like that. Um, and of course, uh, we get to foresee the the son's plan after after his sister died, after they couldn't find the father, shit like that. But he came up with a plan after he saw that Morse code saying, "I'm gonna get rich, so rich that I can get whatever I want, I could do whatever I want, I could be whoever I want, all this other shit." And then to the point where I can buy this house. They don't say how many years later on that this happens down the line on the case is, but the kid gets rich enough. He gets enough money and he does exactly what the fuck he said he was going to do. And he buys the house, which the father has been staying in this entire time as a fucking parasite, bro. He's just been living off the fucking, off the fucking lat, off the previous owners, which were some German fucking people. He was doing the exact same thing that the other dude was doing in the bunker before him and my thing is i think the fucking cycle just continues <laughs> where is it going to be another family that tries to finesse them and fucking they um do the just same thing like just do the same thing over and over just rotate fucking parasites over and over because you can tell i, I don't even know who the fuck to feel bad for in this shit I guess the only person I can feel bad for is like the little kid that had the seizure and shit like that. But he was kind of a dick too, just going around smelling people and sniffing people, saying they st- they smell the same, whatever the case is. But like, everybody in this movie is kind of an asshole, bro. Like, I don't even know. But this movie was wild as shit. This is a f- crazy ass foreign flick. Like, I'm just saying, man, if like finessing and shit, if you want to know how to finesse, watch this movie. You think people out here finessing now? Wait till the wait till niggas get the uh, hold of this dub version of this fucking parasite movie, man. This shit is wild, but um, this is definitely a good watch, man. I get this shit like an eight, uh, like an eight out of ten, eight and eight point five or some shit like that out of ten, bro. This movie was wild as shit. It was funny. It was definitely like dark comedy esque in the in the beginning, like a motherfucker. Um, and like a lot of shit happened. Like even the shit that I've just explained for probably like the last thirty fucking minutes, it still doesn't probably fully explain like all the context and all the uh, dialogue throughout the whole movie because you actually have to sit there and read the movie. Like I had stuff going on, I was sitting there having to pause, run back, pause, and shit like that. So because I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. And the only thing I could say about some of the dialogue, because of course, if you watch and if you ever watch anime over case is, you know some of it is subbed, so you kind of miss some of the action, or you trying to miss something uh, that's being said because you're watching the TV or whatever case is. But other than that, bro, uh, it was definitely a good watch. So, like it being subbed is my only subtitle is my only only thing I got against this movie. So, but the movie was dope as shit, and it's funny as hell. It's a dark comedy, and I fuck with dark comedies and. This family finessed the fuck out some shit. So, 
That's all I got, man. Um, so yeah, this is Clint. I hope y'all enjoyed this review for Parasite. Um, this is stuff I missed, man. I'm kind of upset that I missed this when it didn't first come out, but a lot of people told me to watch it, and I watched it now, and I don't regret it not one bit, man. This movie was dope. Um, so yeah, I'm out. Hope y'all enjoyed this. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. It's Jadass Podcast. My name is Clint, and I'm out.